do your worst. The good of it, it, it happened so fast. Kyle wouldn't be in prison if it wasn't for you. Oh. Oh. Ah! Get off her! We've been hit too many times, don't you think? Well, let's not make it any more difficult than it already is, shall we? You're doing brilliant, babe. Come on. I slept with Tim. That's in the man who played the harp, Tim. Yes. It had been a very long and fallow period. Give us your best Barry White. When are you going to get it through your head, woman? This is not the ding your way. Jim! No! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, that's brilliant. Wow, Sharon Marshall joins us now, live from that there Woolpack to talk to some of Emmerdale stars. Morning, all. Morning. Good morning, guys. Yes, and it has now been confirmed that the fabulous Jane MacDonald will be hosting the show on Saturday night. And joining her, there will be the reigning champions of the British Soap Awards with a mass of 12 nominations. It is Team Emmerdale. Welcome to the show, Dominic Brunt, Mark Charnett, Will Ash and Nicola Wheeler. I'm going to start with you, Dominic, because you've got a thousand nominations on the night, <laughs> pretty much. Best storyline, best single episode, best scene, best on-screen partnership here with uh, Mark, Char Mark Charnock. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and uh, best family, the Dingles. I know it's a little bit of a sensitive one that with the Dingles, of course, this was the year that Paddy's life just completely fell apart. Emmerdale's very famed for its hard-hitting storylines and we've seen him go through this suicide attempt and realise the power of asking for help. How did you feel, first of all, when the, the bosses told you you were doing the storyline? Um, uh, a huge sense of responsibility to get it right. Um, but the, the writers and the researchers had uh, Andy's Man Club and the Samaritans on hand for... for script notes and it was a huge education it really was it blew the top of my head off my bald head off and uh, i thought it was <laughs> it was a real eye-opener and and thank god i don't go through anything like that. i don't suffer from depression but speaking to people that do and people that survived it was uh, a, a real uh, completely and utterly changed the way i see the world it was it was an incredible thing to be involved in I, I have to say, I, I, watching it as a viewer, I thought it was h hats off. It was it was one of the most powerful storylines in soap this year. What what sort of reaction have, have you had from the viewers? Have people been getting in touch? Um, I don't know because I walk around with my hat pulled down, so I'm not. Really <laughs> to anybody, but, uh, I, I think it's it's had an incredible reaction. I think um, uh, luckily, the, so I spoke to the Andy's Man Club, and and they said they'd, they'd had an influx of uh, hundreds of new people going in there. So uh, hats off to the writers and researchers. I was just to play a small part in it, and uh, that just yeah, shows the power of soap. Then that's mm. it. People get in touch. That's that's what they're doing, and of course. You are um, also up for best on-screen partnership here and also up for best fa uh, family for Paddy and Marlon. Marlon and Paddy, Paddy and Marlon. We can't, we've got to do those two words together. <laughs> what is it about this bromance, this partnership that just works? It's him, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've been really lucky over the years because, you know, the, the writers and the producers have written for us so well, haven't they? We've had so much like, light and shade and it's been... We've been blessed, really, and they're great as well because they give us that bit of leeway to play around with it too. So you know, we're always doing silly things, but it's—I think it's to do—they're they're as close as brothers can be without being blood-related, and they've built up this sort of like this sort of—they love each other, you know, and it's—it's the—it's the the abiding love of uh, each other's lives. I think, considering how many marriages we've had between us. <laughs> This one stays steadfast, of course. <laughs> and the part of the Dingle family, the Dingles won last year. Can they do it again? Why not? Yeah, hopefully. I think it's, uh, but it was a public vote before. Now it's a panel vote. Yeah. We probably won't win it. <laughs> oh, no, 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 as part of that Dingle family, well, half Dingle, half Tate, yep. great big liar, um, <laughs> is up, up for best newcomer, of course. Um, Will Ash, you joined the role of Caleb. Congratulations on that. Thank you. He's a bit of a wrong one, though, isn't he? He's a bit of a twisty, turvy character. I mean, how did you feel when you found out who he was going to be? Well, what, when I found out I was going to be playing uh, this huge character who was coming in, he was going to be have a foot in both camps in the Tate kind of household and also in the dingles it was kind of pretty mind-blowing um he's complex he's you know dirty he's a bit nasty but he's also uh, misunderstood 
Oh, you know, they <laughs> always say that when they're up to it. <laughs> but seriously, you're coming here to try and take down Kim Tay. I mean, have you not watched the show? Have you not seen what she did to Frank? Can he? Does he really think he can do this? I think he's arrogant enough to think that he can definitely do it and do it kind of quite easily. Um, <laughs> so we'll see if he actually pulls it off or not. And I love this because you, of course, playing Kane Dingle's brother. And is yeah. it right, you and Jeff Hordley, you went to school together, is that right? We did go to school together, but I have to point out he's considerably older than me. Oh. He's, he's, oh. He is about six years Jeff older than me. Well. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. Anyway. I couldn't get any school photos, although any mums at home have got them, please send them in. But I did, <laughs> I did find this is my mate Sharon, who I went to school with, went to the Bolton Octagon several years ago. And if you look at this at home, look, can we see this picture of them with a the young Kane? With the most fantastic moustache <laughs> that I. <laughs> There on. we go. That will really wind <laughs> him up. So we've said he's much older than you and we've showed his old tash. Thank Sorry, you. Jeff, <laughs> but good luck on the night. Um, coming there, so we've gone from our newcomers to... Um, you've been at Emmerdale for how many years? Was it? Oh, no, no, a thousand. <laughs> 2001, I think you joined. <laughs> still at the heart of the storylines. Um, still um, getting those, those big storylines. But what is it about the Dales, do you think, that just keeps people glued to the screens? Well, I think Mark said it earlier. It's, it's the light in the shade. It's the comedy, you know, the drama. Um, and and what, there's, there's always a little bit of wackiness, and that's, I think, what makes soap great. It's usually with you as well, isn't usually, it? Usually, yeah, yeah. I was struck by how big Angel's got this week. I keep <laughs> thinking she's going to be a tiny baby. I and know. She's... <laughs> you know, all three of my children are soon going to tower over me. I'm not happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, we've seen you on screen. Sto um, we've seen the on screen storylines. I know tonight she does have a bit of a revelation. She is going to. We do. It's we have fun. Uh, yeah, there's, there's um, a funny turn tonight, and we see what's really been going on in the. Uh -huh. Ah, we'll do that. And I know, has it been so good, though, to watch this next generation of soap stars growing in the show? Absolutely. We've got a really good uh, young team. I mean, obviously, we've got Huey, who plays Kyle, who's up for an award. I hope he gets it. He's brilliant. Please vote. Um, <laughs> and, and, you know, watching my own, ch the three children in my family, just watching them grow and develop as actors as well, it, it's wonderful to see. And, and, you know, they are, we are the old bods now, I'm what? afraid. To, I know, sorry, to oh, break it to what? you. What just happened? But we're the OAPs now. Now, and no! they're the next generation no, coming through. No, you're the icons of soap, you're there. Yeah, that's just kind. So you are up for 12 <laughs> nominations on the site. Can we win the title, guys? Can we bring it back to the Dales again? Fingers crossed. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Fighting talk off Nicola. Best of luck on the, guy, on the Dales. It's been an absolute pleasure to watch you all this year. Congratulations on your storylines um, and best of luck on the night. Back Thank to you guys you. in the Thank studio. You. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, best of luck, Emma. And well done, Sharon. You are putting the miles in We're this week. We're very proud of you. Oh, thank you, darling. We love you very much.